going on, family? What's going on? What's going on? I wanted to come back on and uh, share this word with you guys. I told you guys every time the, the Holy Spirit give me something in my spirit, I'm going to come back and put it in your spirit. Uh, that's what I'm here for, to help you guys understand the word of God better. Um, I want to talk to you today about um, the angelic organization of the angels. Understanding the levels of angelic powers of the, of the angels. We all know that the kingdom of God is well organized. And even the angels in heaven are well organized. They can have ranks, guys. Just like you have ranks here on earth, the kingdom of heaven is ranked when it comes to handling different situations. And I want to come on to talk to you about this today. Um, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the videos. Subscribe and help the channel to grow, to reach more people so they can understand the word. I want people to all around the world to understand this word better. And I want them to be able to, to take something from this video. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you like the videos. Um, guys, we must realize this. Once you become born again, you are no longer natural, okay? You are no longer a natural human being. I know the world want to make it seem like you're natural, but the Bible speaks about uh, once you become born again, you're not of this world. You're not of this world. Your spirit is transformed into the same image as Christ. That's a video for a whole nother day, but you guys got to hear me out. You, your natural becomes supernatural. Your natural becomes supernatural, okay? Your natural becomes supernatural. The subject today is understanding the angelic organization of angels. There's this book I bought guys a while back years ago. This is Billy Graham and this is, this is called Angels. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, angels, Billy Graham Angels. And this book break, breaks down um, um, angels. It breaks down the, 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 the whole background of angels. And I want to read this to you guys. Um, it says in this book, Angels, the angels are the dispensers and administrators of divine benefits towards us. They regard our safety, undertake our defense, direct our ways, and exercise that no evil befall us. So as you become a born again um, man and woman of God, you get a guardian angel. And that angel is supposed to be with you forever. That's why I say you can't look at yourself as natural now, guys. Once you cross over um, into the kingdom of God, you are no longer natural. You are supernatural. You become a child of the almighty God. And the thing that's supposed to follow a, a child of the almighty God are signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. So as you go up on this earth, people are supposed to look at your life. They're supposed to be signs and wonders, wondering how did this, how how did that happen? They supposed to be they supposed to see signs and wonders because you're no longer natural. You are supernatural. All through the Bible, the Bible talks about these angelic beings, which are angels, that 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 help people in the Bible, in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. As you become a born again person, every born again person on earth has a guardian angel. And the Bible also speaks over there in Hebrews uh, chapter 12, verse 22, that there are innumerable amount of angels, which means there can't be number, guys. That's how many angels that is out there. There's, uh, is, there. there's innumerable amount of angels. There's a lot of angels. And this book uh, breaks down um, the, the, or, the, uh, the organization of angelic or, the organization. I'm going to go through some of this stuff with you guys. Uh... Uh, we all know that uh, some of the angels that we know in the Bible, uh, I know you guys know about the Archangel Michael. You guys know about the Archangel Gabriel. Um, there's also a lot more that's not mentioned. Uh, we all know that um, Lucifer himself was an Archangel. And we know that there was a war in heaven. Uh, we know that um, angels move by the word of God. And the only angel that, that I can see that, that tried not to move by the word of God was Lucifer. And, and that's where he tried to, he tried to, you know, he tried to pull rank in heaven, and 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 and, and, and there was a, there was a war in heaven. Um, the, the and they say that Lucifer took a, a took took some of the angels to war against Mike, Michael, 
Michael, the archangel, and his angels. And they said Michael won. He was victorious over Lucifer, kicking him out of heaven. And the angels that were with Lucifer, they felt with Lucifer. Um, the Bible also talks about uh, principalities, um, dominions. I'm going to go through some of these things. Um, let's see here. It talks about the different ranks of angels, guys. Um, it said that there are archangels, there are ch cherubims, there are principalities, there are authorities, there are powers, there are thrones, and there are dominions. Those are different levels and ranks of angels, guys. Um, and it, it, it talks about Michael and, and Lucifer fighting and, and Michael having victory over him. It, it gives you a description of, of, of the uh, cherubims. It gives you a description of the archangels. It's a good book to have. Billy Graham Angels. You guys can go get that from Amazon. Um, it talks about principalities and authority, guys. Uh, we all know that uh, when you become a born-again Christian, the angels of God encamp around you. They protect you, deliver you from anything that may come your way or try to hurt you. That's why it's so... When you know your authority in the kingdom of God, and then when you know, when you, when you know that you are a son of God, you have... Angels around you protecting you. You don't need the armies of this world. You have an army right here beside you. Right now, you can't see them, but I got angels. I can assure you that. I can assure you that, that I have angels around me right now that's protecting me. I, I command angels to protect my kids. I command angels to protect my, my family. I command angels to watch me as I go and as I come. They always watch me, and I believe it with all my heart. Because I am a son of the Almighty God, and I am to be protected. So are you, if you are a born-again Christian. You, are, you have angels around you right now. We gotta, the only way these angels go move for you is by you confessing the word of God over your life. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. This is me saying that no weapon formed against me. The angels got to move off the word of God. That's the only way an angel can move is from the word of God. Because you are anointed now, because you are ordained, God has given you the power to call angels forth to protect you, to keep you, to watch over you in everything that you do. So we need to understand that, that there is an, an, an angelic organization in heaven of angels, archangels, cherubims. Um, and you also got uh, uh, another part of that, uh, which, is the, which is the one, Lucifer and his angels that fell out of heaven. These are principalities. These are the, are the, are the ones that's evil. They're trying to... You know, trying to take over, but God is king. God is God, and God's gonna be vict victorious every time. We all know that. And, um, but this book kind of go through um, the whole spiel about angels. It's a great book. I want to come on and share with you guys. You guys need to know that you have angels around you that that's protecting you every day of your life. If you are a born again Christian, that's that's pretty powerful, guy. That's not natural. That's 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 supernatural. You gotta know that when you are born again Christian, that you become supernatural. You're not natural. You become supernatural. You just got to get in the Bible and realize who you really are in Christ Jesus. Jesus said, I can call how many angels I want to come in, 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 to my defense. They will come. You have the same power that your big brother Jesus has. You can call angels forth to come and protect you if you were to get in a, get in a jam or wherever it may be. They are here to protect you, to watch over you. Uh, and, and they only go, they only move from the, from the, from the word of God. They only move from the word of God, guys. You guys got to know that you have angelic presence around you at all times, protecting you, watching over you. Psalm 91 said, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Psalms 91. I think I can go through it right quick with you guys. Psalm 91. Uh, it says the angel of the Lord have charge over you. It said the Lord, get a, he get an angel of the Lord charge over you to keep you in all your ways. So you need to know that angels are here to protect you. That they are very organized, that they are powerful, and that and that, and that they can they can they can do some great things in your life to help you get to where you want to be at. That's all I got, guys. I want to come on here and share this with you guys. Understanding the angelic organization of angels. Um, you guys make sure you go over there. They, they are in the old testament, they're also in the new testament. They are it's full of angels being used in this whole book. This book is not natural, guys. This is not a natural book. This book is supernatural. There's a lot of things in this book that's supernatural. It's a supernatural book made for supernatural peoples. Signs and wonders. That's, that's what you're made for. You're made for signs and wonders. Guys, I love you. Make sure you go get this book. Make sure you do some research on angels. They are here to, to minister to you. To minister to you. To keep you. To watch over you. To protect you. They are here for you. To help you.
Let's do let's, let's read our Bibles. Let's just be about it. Let, 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 let's know that you are supernatural. You are made in the image of God. You are made in the image of Christ Jesus. He loves you and he, he, he does everything to protect you, to watch over you, and to keep you. I love you guys. Until next time, you guys, make sure you like the videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be putting up more content like this. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love you guys. Till next time, you guys be blessed.